Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and fund the MetaMask wallet. So let's get going. Okay, so the MetaMask wallet is basically a browser extension uh, that you can use for storing cryptocurrency. In this case, the MetaMask wallet is an Ethereum based wallet and it can hold Ethereum, but it will also uh, hold ERC-20 tokens. So it's a pretty versatile wallet. And it's one of the safest and most secure ways uh, on your desktop to uh, store uh, and transfer Ethereum uh, without getting uh, fished uh, or hacked uh, on websites. So uh, if you're trying to use uh, web-based uh, Ethereum wallets, there's a chance that you can get fooled into uh, revealing your private key or transferring your funds uh, to an attacker's wallet. And uh, MetaMask is the solution on that. It can also be used to uh, interface with the decentralized exchanges like Ether Delta or Zero X. So it's little bit of a no-brainer on getting set up but I'm going to walk you through it just so you'll uh, can see it happening in front of your eyes and then I'm quickly going to show you how to fund it with some Ethereum if you've never been involved in cryptocurrency trading before so let's get going all right so uh, the first thing I'll demonstrate is uh, Firefox uh, because I don't have it uh, installed in uh, my Firefox yet uh, I have it installed in some of my other browsers and so but I want to show you what it looks like when you first uh, set it up. Uh, you can do this in Firefox, Chrome or Brave and I'm going to show you how it works in the other browsers too but uh, I haven't been able to figure out how to do it in uh, the Microsoft Edge browser. So if you're using Edge I don't believe that uh, there is a, uh, an extension for MetaMask for Edge. All right, so uh, basically what we need to do is go over here to add-ons and we're gonna choose get add-ons and uh, we'll just choose find more and we're gonna do on our search bar MetaMask. All right, and there it is. All right, and so we're just gonna add this to Firefox pretty simple it asks for permission and we'll say okay all right and then it takes you to the MetaMask homepage where they'll uh, walk you through it but uh, in a nutshell basically you can see that it's up here uh, in the corner of my browser so I'm just gonna click on it and uh, gives out uh, some information about it all right and so there is a new version out that uh, appears to be in uh, beta I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, new version uh, you may watch this video down the road and uh, so most likely this will be uh, the go-to version uh, so I'm gonna click uh, try it now and here we go uh, as you can see uh, it follows my mouse cursor around so I'm gonna choose continue all right, so you want to create a password. It's pretty straightforward. All right, we've all done this before. Notice here that it has the option to uh, import a seed, which we're going to get to in the next step. So if you already had a version uh, that you had backed up as a seed, you could import it. So we're going to choose create. All right, and uh, it gives us a unique image for our Ethereum address, uh, randomly generated and then we'll choose next and then we're going to accept the terms of use by scrolling down here at the bottom and we'll choose accept and then they're going to give us another notice about privacy so they're just pointing out that uh, when you sign into a site uh, your public key will be visible and people can use that to see your balance uh, because the blockchain is an, uh, a transparent ledger uh, it doesn't mean they can take your funds, it just means they can see your balance and, uh, and transaction history. So uh, you can log out from MetaMask uh, so that uh, sites will not detect that address. I'm just going to choose accept. 
It's also going to uh, give me a phishing warning. Okay, and basically they're warning you that uh, MetaMask will never open in your browser and ask you for the key. It doesn't work like that. It's always going to be a, an extension over here. All right, and now this is the important part. This is really why I'm doing this video, so that uh, you won't skip over this. And basically what you want to do when it presents this seed phrase to you is to copy down the entire seed phrase onto a piece of paper and keep it in a safe place. No matter what happens to your MetaMask wallet, if the computer crashes or uh, your hard drive fails or you uh, reinstall your OS or uh, reinstall your browser, uh, whatever you do, if you need to get it back, uh, those words on that piece of paper will be your key to cl uh, reclaiming uh, your wallets and your funds and your transaction history. So this is very important. Uh, many cryptocurrency wallets work like this. And my suggestion is to write down exactly which wallet it is, uh, which browser it is in, and the date. So uh, it won't get confused with other seed phrases that you might have laying around. So in order to start this process, we're just going to uh, click this little thing. <laughs> and I'm going to write down this seed phrase um, on my piece of paper. All right, and so once you've written this down on your piece of paper, you'll want to double check it to make sure that you've got uh, all of the words written down correctly and legibly. Uh, and uh, word order is important here. So, you know, it's going to go from left to right, uh, top to bottom. And so if you're ever restoring, you'll just remember that that word order is important. So you, you want to make sure you get the words exactly as they appear in that window. All righty, and when we're done with that, <laughs> You could also memorize it if you have a mind to, and then uh, you wouldn't be dependent on that piece of paper. Just be dependent on your memory. All right, so uh, when we've got this written down, uh, we'll go to the next. And it wants us to take those words in the same order that we wrote them down and pull them up into that window so that it will know that we've noted the phrase and know the right order of the words. So uh, just start from the beginning and just drag up. And once we have clicked these words in the correct order, uh, the confirm button will be active and uh, we can click on through. All right, so uh, there we go. And we've got this thing set up. Now uh, we need to fund it. We need to put some Ethereum in there. That'll be our first order of business. Now it is possible to uh, create a uh, ERC20 token and do that first. But you're always going to need uh, Ethereum uh, for your gas for any of your transactions. So it's a good idea to make an initial deposit of Ether into the account. Now we can do a direct deposit if we already have Ether in another wallet. And then uh, they've got a link that will take us to Coinbase. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Ah, okay. So it basically just links to Coinbase and uh, will deposit this money into my MetaMask account um, just uh, by, it basically creates a Coinbase account on the fly. I'm not going to do it that way. You might want to do that if you don't have a Coinbase account. But what I'm going to do is just log into my Coinbase account. All right, and now that I've shown you how to use, uh, how to set up the MetaMask, I'm going to show you how easy it is in the Brave browser, uh, which I totally recommend the Brave browser. Uh, I've been using it uh, for several months now and I really like it. I also have an affiliate link. If you'd like to use my affiliate link, I would appreciate it. So with uh, the Brave browser, MetaMask is built in already. So all you have to do is go over here to settings and down over here to extensions. And you'll, you can see that MetaMask is already built into the browser. All you have to do is enable it and there it just appears up there and the first time you click it it'll run you through that uh, seed phrase uh, setup that I demonstrated with Firefox but I already had it uh, installed in the browser so uh, it doesn't take me through that step All right? and then you can do the exact same thing in Chrome if uh, you're a Chrome user uh, really all you have to do is go over to uh, extensions and more tools 
and uh, just search for it. As you can see, uh, it's already there in mine, but if you uh, have never used it before, you can just uh, search for it and enable it, and it will take you through the exact same setup that I did in Firefox in Chrome. So there you go. You've got uh, your choice of Chrome, Brave, uh, or Firefox to use the MetaMask extension. All right, and so uh, I'm going to show you how to use uh, the Brave browser. So uh, now that uh, I've already created the account, all I have to do is log in, log in there. And I have a few accounts set up here. I'm just going to choose account one. There's a little bit of ETH in there already. So how do we get uh, ETH in here? How do we fund the account? I'm just gonna go over here to Coinbase. All right, so in order to fund my MetaMask wallet, I need to deposit some Ethereum. So the easiest way to get your hands on some Ethereum, if you don't have any, is to use Coinbase. So uh, I've logged into my Coinbase account, and I'm going to go over here to Ethereum. Uh, not Ethereum Classic. I'm going to use uh, Ethereum, ETH. And I will use the Chase uh, debit card option uh, for a faster purchase. All right, and you put in the amount of money that you would like to spend, and it will uh, tell you how much Ethereum you're going to get for that amount. All right, and once you've filled in your amount, you'll just hit Buy Ethereum Instantly. And then we'll uh, confirm Buy. All right, and uh, you'll notice since I used the debit card that I have the Ethereum in my wallet uh, immediately. See, and there it is. Now, before I transfer it into my MetaMask, I I don't want to lose any of it uh, in transfer fees. So the way to avoid the transfer fees uh, using Coinbase is to put the uh, transfer the Ethereum into the Coinbase Pro account. And the Coinbase Pro can easily be set up if you have a uh, Coinbase account. It's basically just the uh, trading platform for Coinbase account holders. And so all I have to do is hit deposit and tell it that I want to deposit Ethereum. And I want to move it in from my Coinbase wallet, so my regular Coinbase wallet. I'll just move all of it into my Coinbase Pro account. And it's very simple to do, happens right away and it doesn't charge me any uh, network fees. Uh, if you just transfer directly from Coinbase into the uh, MetaMask wallet, you would incur some uh, network fees on the Ethereum network. Uh, Coinbase Pro will absorb those fees, and so that's why I'm uh, doing this little intermediate step. All right, so now what we wanna do is put it into our MetaMask wallet. So all we have to do is pull down our MetaMask, and we'll go over here to the three dots and choose uh, copy address to clipboard. Right? And that address starts with a 0 to E. And so we'll go over here to our Coinbase Pro and choose withdraw. We're going to withdraw our Ether. So I'm just going to paste that in. So I'm going to withdraw the Ethereum, uh, and that's the destination address. And I'm just going to withdraw all of it. And uh, then I'll just choose uh, Withdraw. And then I'll enter my two-factor authentication for my Coinbase. And there you go. Uh, that's all I needed to do. And then we'll just go over here to MetaMask and take a look. And just kind of keep an eye out to see when uh, the Ethereum enters the account. All right, and there you can see that the balance is now updated, and I have funded this wallet uh, with some Ethereum, so uh, we're good to go. So uh, that's it, really. Uh, it's pretty easy to enable the extension in uh, any of your favorite browsers, and then uh, you can transfer the money in. You'll notice that they gave you uh, sort of an on-the-fly link to uh, use Coinbase to fund the account directly. Uh, which would automatically create a Coinbase account for you. Uh, but uh, if you already have a Coinbase account, uh, it's much better 
to just use your existing account to purchase some Ethereum and then uh, throw it into the Coinbase Pro account to save on transfer fees and then uh, move it over into the wallet. Uh, so if you have any questions about anything I did, throw them up in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Join me for the live Q&A in LA. Throw out any questions that you may have or just kind of sit back and relax and join in on the conversation. I hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.